Today, I'm going to show you how to automatically remove objects from your photos. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode, it's super cool because it's, it's actually very simple to do in Photoshop, but it's gonna help you out a ton, especially for those of you guys out there who've taken pictures on vacation, or let's say you're in like Times Square, a busy environment where people are moving and there's just tons of stuff going on in the background, and you wanna be able to eliminate it all completely. So today we're going to take a bunch of different photos that were taken on a tripod and that's important the tripod part because the camera needs to stay still. So we're going to take a bunch of those different photos we're going to combine them in together in Photoshop and then we're going to show you how to use a script inside of Photoshop that's going to automatically take care of removing those objects. It's going to be a very cool episode and super helpful for anyone who wants to remove objects and their backgrounds automatically. To start with, I'm gonna show you the manual version, which is how up until now you would have had to remove these objects. And after we're done with the manual version, then we're gonna go into the automatic version. So the manual version, let's go from file, I'm gonna to go to scripts, and we're gonna to go to load files into stack. Okay, basically it's just gonna load a bunch of images. So I'm gonna hit browse here. We've got our images here, and you can see, let's just click here, these are from Lakeshore Drive in Chicago. It's a perfect example. The camera's on a tripod and we've got cars that are kind of moving in from you know, one image to another. The cars are in a different place and I want all the cars completely gone. So for now, let's just click. We're gonna click on all those images. We're gonna hit open and we're gonna hit okay. So it's gonna stick them all together in a stack. Now keep in mind, this is the manual way. In just a minute, we're gonna go into the automatic way. Okay. Now, for now, we have basically a bunch of different images that we're going to turn off and on, and we can see some of these contain information with cars on the left, some of them have information with cars on the right. So, for instance, this photo doesn't have any cars right here on the left. So if I wanted to, you can see this car does have information on the left. So if I wanted to erase some of these cars, I could use a layer mask, and I could paint black on my layer mask. Let's just paint with our brush tool at 100% black on our layer mask right here. There we go. All right, and basically what layer mask is going to allow us to see right through this layer. So by seeing right through this layer, that's a really great way to remove a couple of objects in your images. So if all you need to do is like remove one or two objects, you can totally use a layer mask. But there's an even better way and that's going to be the automatic. So let's go ahead and we're gonna exit out of this. There we go, let's don't save. Now we're gonna jump into the automatic mode. So we're gonna to go to file, I'm gonna to go to script, and then we're gonna go, instead of load files into stack, we're gonna go down to this guy that says statistics. So statistics, we're gonna, we have a couple new options here. This is totally new, many of you guys probably haven't seen this before. So we can choose our stack mode, and you wanna click this little drop down button, you have a lot of different options here. And for now, we're not gonna worry about the, di the different options. We're just gonna click right here on median. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna choose all the areas that are different in each of the photos, and it's going to remove those differences. So let's go ahead and hit browse. There we go. We're just gonna use the same exact images we chose earlier, all these JPEGs here. We're gonna hit open. And this time, we are gonna check attempt to automatically align source images. That's gonna make sure everything really is aligned. Now, again, it's important that you shoot on a tripod for this method because you want all the frames to be the same, just some objects moving. But in this case, we are aligning the source images just to make sure they're in the exact same place. So there we go, we've clicked all those. Let's hit okay. And that's really all there is to it. We sit back and wait and Photoshop does the rest for us. There's no layer masking involved. All we have to do is open up those images and we can see this is exactly what Photoshop gives us. This is amazing. You can see all the cars are removed every little piece of difference. So if you were to go to a very busy area and stand there with a tripod for a couple hours and continue taking photo after photo, eventually you'd have blank spaces in the photos and you'd be able to remove everything using this method. Now, the cool part is this actually does create a smart object as well. So if you wanted to, you could go back, you can double click on your smart object here and you can see all the files used to, create, to actually create the object, just to make sure that these are the actual files being used. When you're done with your smart object, just close it by hitting Command W. There we go, we don't need to save this, and we're good to go. So this is exactly what we put out using that automatic script. 
And that's it for today's episode, guys. Very, very simple, but it's gonna help you out a ton if you've got a bunch of objects you need to remove in your image. Remember, you can do this the manual way by loading up each of your layers and then using layer masks to mask out the things you don't want to be visible. But the automatic way, by going from file, down to scripts, down to statistics, and then choose median, choose your images, and then load them up into Photoshop is gonna make your job much, much easier. If you love Photoshop and photography just like I do, you're gonna love Flurn.com. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel just by clicking on your screen. We send free Photoshop and photography videos every single week. And if you have an idea for a new episode or a question or a comment about today's episode, just let us know in a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching Flurn, guys. I love that you are watching Flurn. <laughs> I didn't script that at all, but hey, why not? I do love you're watching Flurn. Thanks, guys. I'll flurn you later. Bye, everyone. I love that you're watching Flurn. It's really good. It's a good decision you made. <laughs> I should teach singing. I'm really good at that. <laughs>